Max Legano. Well, once again, a very happy Thursday evening in southwest Louisiana, where things are definitely still very warm outside, but we are finally starting to cool down at least a little bit. Over into Quincy, temperatures still above 90 degrees, but we are at 92 rather than the mid-90s from a couple hours ago. And thankfully, the air is still dry enough where the heat index is not out of control. That number is at 96 degrees right now. Here are the rest of our temperatures, which have not changed much. In fact, Cameron has gone up a degree over the last hour or so to 89, but the rest of these numbers are pretty similar from 92 over in Jennings to 95 at the Lake Charles Regional Airport. Even up north over into, well, Scratch that will go off to the east over into Jennings where things are still definitely warm at 95 degrees with a mixture of sunshine and clouds outside. There's also definitely a bit of haze out there. Maybe you've noticed that over the past couple of days. Here's the reason why that's the case. We've had some fires ongoing in northern and central parts of the state over the past couple of days and northeasterly winds have blown some of that smoke closer to southwest Louisiana. I don't think that's going to change all that much tomorrow, but by tomorrow night into the weekend, we'll start seeing some southeasterly winds come into place, which should blow some of that smoke away from southwest Louisiana. Of course, if we are able to squeeze out a couple showers, that also would help matters. I don't think that's all that likely tonight, though. I think, in fact, things will stay very dry like the past couple of days. So this evening, the biggest concern for any evening plans will be the fact that it's going to remain very warm until the sun sets in about an hour or so. After that, these numbers will fall a little bit quicker. But as we've talked about already, I don't think we'll get as cool tomorrow morning as what we saw this morning. In fact, these temperatures should only fall, I think, to the mid-70s, maybe low 70s in a couple of spots north of the interstate. Then from there, tomorrow does not look too much different than today. Temperatures should once again get into the low to mid-90s. There also may be a slightly better chance of a couple showers or even a pop-up thunderstorm or two as some higher humidity starts to make its return. And you can see that on the big weather map as well. The front that brought that dry air in the first place is starting to lift back north. So that means you have more of the influence from the Gulf of Mexico. And for that reason, things will become a little more humid once again. As far as rain goes, by the end of the weekend, I think is when we'll start to see a slightly better rain chance. We'll watch this upper level disturbance traverse from east to west across the Gulf of Mexico. And that, I think, could provide at least a few scattered showers and storms, especially near and south of I-10. The good news, I don't think we'll see any sort of tropical development from that disturbance. Nevertheless, though, our rain chances should boost up a little bit heading into next week. Now, let's take a look while we're on the topic of something tropically related. Here's the tropics. Thankfully, things are pretty quiet across the Atlantic. We'll continue to keep a very close eye on it since it is the middle of August, but no development is expected, at least over the next seven days. So the biggest thing we'll have to worry about here is just that, yeah, unfortunately, humidity is on the way back. Temperatures remain seasonably warm each day. At least so these rain chances will start to boost up a little bit, especially by next week. So Morgan, if we can get a thunderstorm or two, at least it would help to cool things off a little bit. Yeah, I'll take some rain, but I'm still counting down. I think we're at like 30 days until fall. I'm just waiting. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait and still counting down to October. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, thank you, Max. Coming up, it's the last.